HipFig Travel Channel offers DIY travel video guides for more than 25 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like this video, then subscribe, give us a thumbs up, or a comment. Welcome to HipFig's Travel Guide Series on Miami, Florida. Do you know that Lion Country Safari offers an amusement park as well as a drive through safari? Watch this informative travel guide now for free tips and insights to save you time and money while visiting Lion Country Safari. The easiest way to get to Lion Country Safari is to drive. Set your GPS to 2003 Lion Country Safari Road, Loxahatchee, Florida. Lion Country Safari is close to West Palm Beach and an hour and a half drive north from Miami. Best of all, parking is free here. There are also private tour companies and taxi services which will provide transportation which may be a little bit pricey. We do not recommend public transportation as the trip will take too long. Lion Country Safari is generally open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily. They also offered mini ticket options. You can purchase them online or at the ticket booth when you arrive. Here's a money saving tip. If you want to purchase the general admission ticket and plan to go to other attractions in the Miami area, we suggest purchasing the Go Miami card by Smart Destinations for incredible discounts on multi-attraction passes. We have provided the link to Smart Destinations at hitfig.com. For an additional fee, Lion Country Safari offers many animal encounters. Check on their website for more information. When you arrive at Lion Country Safari, begin your trip with the drive through Safari. You need a card to go through the drive through Safari Preserve section of the park. Convertibles, motorcycles, or any open vehicles are not allowed. They do have rental vehicles which are available at the front office for a small fee. Summer Alert! During the summer, if you don't have air conditioning in your car, rent a vehicle at the main office. You will not be able to open your windows during this time in the preserve. For safety reasons, pets are also not permitted. Kennels are available for a refundable deposit. Vehicles cannot have broken windows. Windows and sunroofs must be closed at all times while driving through the preserve. Safety tips. Don't hang anything outside your vehicle, including selfie sticks, phone extension poles, especially your hands. Make sure that if you have little ones, that you keep your windows in the locked mode. At the entrance of the preserve, a CD for your car is provided to guide you through the preserve. The preserve is divided into seven sections from various parts of the world like Africa, South America, and India. The first section you'll enter is Las Pampas, which is basically grasslands translated in Spanish from South America. Here you'll see tortoises, Brazilian tapir, brown pelicans, alpacas, and the greater rhea, which is kind of looks like an ostrich. As you continue your safari, you'll enter into the Raja National Park. Here you'll find the greater kudu, impala, and ostriches. The next section you'll enter is the Kalahari, which is a dry plateau located in southwest Africa. Here you'll find aquatic antelopes, ostriches, and oryx. The next section you'll go to is the Gur Forest, which is named after the National Park in India. Here you'll find Asiatic Water Buffalo, the Nilgai, the Black Buck, and the Kulan. After that you'll find the Gorongosa Reserve, which is named after the Mozambique Gorongosa um, Wildlife Area. Here you'll find the African Lion. Enter into the Serengeti Plains, which is named for African Serengeti. Here you'll find the Common Ilan more ostriches, the wildebeest, common water buck, and ankle cattle, as well as the impala. My favorite part of the park is the Hwange National Park, which is a famous reserve located in western Zimbabwe. Here you can see white rhinoceroses up close. Although this endangered species is called the white rhinoceros, their skin is actually more stone gray. It's pretty amazing when you see them literally right next to your car or in front of your car and you have to wait for them to move before you can continue on your safari. We will see a lot of zebras. Did you know that each individual zebra has unique markings like human fingerprints? Further down you'll see the chimpanzees on Chimpanzee Island. You'll also see the small family groups of the white-handed gibbon. Near the end of your safari, you will run into the giraffes. 
Take your time and drive slowly through the park. You don't want to miss a thing. After completing your drive through the Safari Park Reserve, park your car and go to the walkthrough amusement park. Included in your mission and entry is both the drive through safari and walk through amusement park, which includes two water slides, fun slide, carousel, flying elephant ride, toddler train, paddle boat rental, platoon boat tour, mini golf, safari splash water spray ground, safari maze, and various shows. You can also interact with lorries at the lorry feeding aviary, the giraffe at the giraffe feeding area, and a sheep or goats at the petting zoo. It's an amazing experience uh, being so close to the animal. It is well worth the extra effort to get to Lion Country Safari. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our Hipfig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.